our world continues to face environmental problems over the years. And these issues have directly affected all of us. But in 2015, 193 countries have signed up for a definitive plan for our planet and the people in it. This plan is a universal call to action that specifically aims to halt climate change. But the question is, do the UMUNs really know about the Sustainable Development Goals, most especially the SDG 13 about climate action? And this is Clifford James Lagmai Dinduan, and join me as we look into the perspectives of individuals who have first-hand experience of the issue. Beyond the borders of the University of Mindanao, there is a community that continues to experience living conditions with lack of sanitation, unsegregated waste, overcrowding in a narrow space, and risky housing positions. All these are issues that the SDG 13 aims to fight off. And while all these problems continue to happen, what could there be that the students taking residence in Gravahan, Matina, have to say? Yeah, ako masulti lang dyan, no? Kay ang ano mang godari ay is once a week lang silaga ang city gakolet o kanang sa mga garbage. Tapos since mas dagan ang boarding house kaysa kanang kanang balay dyan. So, murag natapok dari ang mga students. Tapos, in every time pag nag na siya sa city, wala na tong segregation. Like, mas sagol na dyan tanan. Kay, uh, ang uban man good kay sa kanal ipang labay or bis kanasa lang ang gilid-gilid. Maybe because wala ay uh, enough din ng mga trash can or like mga sako na pwede dito butangan ng mga basura kanang actually kay kung mag-agi mag good every time sa mo sulit kong eskulahan um organized man noon sila kay ilahang way uh, kada balay na ana may uh, trash can but na gihapon kay makita nga mga trash sa gilid-gilid siguro na yung mga tao gihapon nga naga labay og basura na like wala naga respects environment or siguro kay wala makakita ang ana Uh, for me, kay hunta kay dili lang sila mag-agad sa city kung anong kakolek god dapat po sila sa ilang balay or kanang sa ilang boarding house na sila palisi na about kanang uh, proper uh, gun god proper waste management ana. Uh, first of all po, I think uh, to impose discipline talaga, uh, to impose rules para maging disiplinado talaga yung mga tao dito. Uh, siguro po aside sa Actually, kay na naman sila trash can. Aside po, Anna, is always siguro every morning or afternoon or um, yes, actually better in afternoon. Maga, naa sila general cleaning or every week much better kung may general cl cleaning po. But these problems do not only lurk in the alleys of the compound. It struts as confidently into the university. And while the university strives to comply with the SDG 13 through partnering with other universities, adopting the Clay-Go or Clean-As-You-Go policy, placing waste segregation bins around the campus, and most recently setting up hampers specifically for plastic bottles, there may still be problems in waste disposal that can be witnessed, especially by those who oversee the cleanliness of the whole university, the campus janitors. But why are we so affected by these problems? What would happen to us if we let these issues continue? In an interview with Mr. Ronel Senening, a biology and general science professor of the university, he revealed to us the effects of sanitation and waste disposal problems on the human health and our environment. Okay, so basically one of the factors why we experience pollution is because our, there is contamination in the physical environment. And then this will give rise to serious health problems in the community. 
and then uh, this will all boils down to the to what we call global warming because as we all know this waste or garbages can produce excess gas that can contribute to greenhouse effect causing the planet earth to become warmer okay just like what Mohit Agadi said the environment is no one's property to destroy but it is everyone's responsibility to protect so in order to protect our environment and the well-being of the people in the community we are or we need all we all need to be uh, educated about the sustainable waste management okay so for example practicing the three r re reuse reduce recycle can be a big help kahit na maliit na effort lang ito para sa atin but this can be a big help or big impact to our environment Learning about this issue is a prompt call to everyone to play our roles in the achievement of SDG 13. We must remember that in order to achieve this, we must do our part as citizens of this world. But what is it that we can do to help? From an expert's opinion, Mark Asinto advises everyone to follow these measures. First, of course, we can do by small, simple steps. I believe na pwede natin simulan yung mga actions that we can contribute to the environment by doing small, simple steps, such as putting our trash in the proper trash bin or even promoting a sustainable lifestyle. Yung pagdala ng mga reusable tumblers, reusable bottles, reusable utensils. I believe that this is a way for us to normalize the things that we do for the environment and also promote a sustainable lifestyle. Naniniwala ako na if we do this every day and if we make it a part of our habit, routine, and our system, we can make a lifestyle out of it and also have bigger impact for ourselves and for the environment. It's already 2023. It has been eight years since the world doing transformative actions to achieve this goal. But surprisingly, we have only made a small progress towards achieving the Global Goals Agenda. We are already running out of time, but giving up is not an option. We only need to recommit to the 2030 Agenda and double our efforts. This has been Clifford James Dinduan, and together, let's continue to turn our plans into actions and promises into realities. Because together, we are all stronger, and together, we can make this world better and brighter.